A rolling pile of trouble. That's how a Menominee Falls man describes his new camper. Well, he bought it with dreams of traveling the country. Contact six is Jenna Sachs. With the consumer protection law he discovered, it actually doesn't protect him. It's all in this Contact Six report. We do a lot of national parks. Alex Grobe makes cherished family memories on the road, taking his family to campsites and landmarks. Hoping to travel more, the family bought a larger camper in September 2021. But instead of hitting the road last summer, they hit the brakes. We're not happy having missed the opportunity to have those trips and to make those memories this year. A lawsuit Alex filed claims his camper has been replete with continual unresolved defects. Some he says Camping World RV sales intentionally concealed or failed to repair. It's been in our possession only for 14 days. Uh, otherwise, it's been sitting at the service center. So here we are one year, two days after we bought the camper. Alex visited his camper in October to prep it for the winter. He says in that time, problems arose with the roof, leveling system, a slide out and more. Neither Camping World nor its attorney responded to contact six. They filed a motion to dismiss the case. Pull behind campers fall into a very unique area in the law. Nathan DeLa Durante is Alex's attorney. He's arguing the trailer is defective. What he's not arguing is a lemon law case because, well, would Alex's purchase even qualify? If it had a motor, yes, it would. And that is why consumers should pay attention. Yes, Wisconsin has a lemon law. It states if a new motor vehicle has certain problems that can't be fixed within a reasonable time frame, the owner can ask the manufacturer buy it back or replace it. But the Lemon Law only applies to vehicles with a motor, like cars, trucks, motorcycles, or motorhomes. Trailer vehicles don't qualify. Neither does a new moped, a semi-trailer, or in Alex's case. You don't have that protection if you're buying a towable RV or towable vehicle. To be a lemon, the defect must also appear within one year before the warranty expires and substantially harm the vehicle's use, value, or safety. The vehicle must be out of service at least four times in a year or 30 days. We could have gotten our money back all of our interest payments that we made, everything, because Lemon Law would have easily 100% said this is a lemon. Which, for now, leaves Alex with a $60,000 investment in what he calls... Kind of a rolling pile of troubles. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6. Oh, it's too bad it looks so comfy, right? Well, the RV manufacturer did not respond to Contact 6. By the way, there is a federal law that can protect many consumers with defective products from toasters to boats and much more. The Magnuson Moss Act broadly covers any product over $10 that is under warranty. But Alex's attorney says this isn't a warranty case.